Hello everybody, it's your boy Bandit Banks here, and in today's video I am going to be giving you 10 minutes of completely useless Sea of Thieves information. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, turning notifications on so that you get notified anytime I upload. But with that, prepare to have your head filled with 10 minutes of completely useless Sea of Thieves information. The Hunter's Call representative at each sea post has a name that ends with the letter K. Merrick, Derek, Sarek, Hendrick, Anik, Emmerick, Zarek, and Afric. In the arena lobby, these two people, standing about 5 to 10 feet apart from each other, sell the exact same thing, the exact same promotions, and have absolutely no differences between them except for their looks. The shop owners at each outpost have names that begin with the first letter of the shop they are residing in. For example, Sherry is a shipwright, Wendy the weaponsmith, Charles of the clothing shop, and Tracy of the tavern. The only exception to this rule is the equipment shop, whose employees all have names that begin with T such as Tyler. Why this is, I have absolutely no idea. According to Merfolk Library, the smallest island in the game, not including sea posts, is Boulder K at 1,020 meters squared. Discluding outposts and sea posts, I counted 10 islands and or forts around the Sea of Thieves that had a working usable dock. Some of these docks are large and beautiful, some of them are small and shitty. Old Faithful Island really sucks. There is a weird underwater glitch in which sometimes you can see pieces of land above the surface that are not actually there. These pieces of land will follow you around as you rotate underwater, and it can be extremely trippy seeing this for the first time. However, these pieces of land do disappear when you surface. There is a dog located on the uncharted island at grid coordinates K9. It is only there because the grid coordinates are K9, and it serves no other purpose. According to Merfolk Library, the smallest sea post in the game, which also makes it the smallest overall island in the game, is Brian's Bazaar at 659 meters squared. Only around one quarter of players have completed the Maiden Voyage, also known as the Tutorial. More players have unlocked the achievement for eating a banana than for setting sail for the first time. The Reaper's Hideout was originally an uncharted island. It became charted after the Festival of Giving update. According to Xbox, the rarest achievement in Sea of Thieves is completing 250 merchant voyages, because the Merchant Alliance voyages suck. According to seaofthieves.fandom, there are approximately 61 types of beard errors that you can get. More players have been involved in the sinking of another person's ship than have had their sails in full wind at some point. I timed one arena game at being 15 minutes and 5 seconds, not 15 minutes. At the time of making this video, there are 59 different types of fireworks in Sea of Thieves. To my knowledge, the current fattest pair of pirates is the Buffet Boys, with Robert65 and Gromstacle, comprising two of the meatiest, chunkiest pirates ever. If you know of a bigger pair of pirates, join my Discord link in the description and post a picture of those two pirates. If they are bigger, I will update the winner of the chunkiest boys on the seas in the comments section below. In Sea of Thieves lore, the first pirate to ever reach the Sea of Thieves was a pirate named Ramsey. There are approximately 12 volcanoes in the Devil's Roar. 
Merrick's journal on the Reaper's hideout is there to commemorate a Sea of Thieves content creator who used to blast Rick Ashley's Never Gonna Give You Up on the speaking trumpet. According to Sea of Thieves lore, the Pirate Lord died due to being stabbed by daggers. At the time of making this video, 821,849 accounts have achieved Pirate Legend status. The Black Witch Shipwreck on Shipwreck Bay is a tribute to a 1985 game developed by the same company that made Sea of Thieves. In Sea of Thieves lore, Merrick's ship sinks at the I-12 island, which is now known as Reaper's Hideout. The largest island in Sea of Thieves is the Shores of Gold Island, commonly known as Tribute Peak, at 556,000 meters squared. That is 4.18 times bigger than the second biggest island in the game, Smuggler's Bay, at 133,000 meters squared. This is the third line of dialogue for Grog Soak Dead. In Sea of Thieves lore, the character Pendragon died in the Keelhall Fort underwater cavern. The most southern island in Sea of Thieves is Ashen Reaches. If you go to Wanderer's Refuge and enter the secret cave that leads to Wanda's secret hideout in this absolutely cool room, if you decide to interact with the skull on the table, opening the secret door in the back, it leads to this absolutely phenomenal and completely normal furnace in the corner. On the southwest beach of Lone Cove, you can find Deadshot Charlotte. The trading company with the least amount of max level players is the Sea Dogs. The lore behind why you can't open any gold hoarder chest is because they can only be opened by a set of skeleton keys. The founder of the gold hoarders, Rathbone, stole these keys and keeps them for just the gold hoarders. You hand over the chest to the gold hoarders, they in turn open them and give you a portion of the gold inside. The sloop ladder has 33 steps that lead to the crow's nest. The brigantine ladder has 43 steps that lead to the crow's nest and the galleon ladder has 52 steps that lead to the crow's nest. Senior trader Molly, who founded the Merchant Alliance, is located at Sanctuary Outpost. The opening cinematic for Sea of Thieves takes about 1 minute and 48 seconds to finish up. The island Sailor's Bounty is split into 11 separate pieces. There is a water tower located at Daggertooth Outpost. The Gold Hoarder's real name is Rathbone, who is the founder of the Gold Hoarders. There are a total of 10 forts located across the Sea of Thieves. Madame Olivia, the founder of the Order of Souls, is located at Plunder Outpost. For the Seeker of the Sea commendation, there used to be a glitch where turning in one breath of the sea counted as two, so you'd only need to turn in 15 breaths of the sea, not 30. This glitch no longer exists. There are multiple shooting ranges across the Sea of Thieves, including ones on Crescent Isle and Smuggler's Bay. On the Arena Tavern, Next to two captain's chairs is a framed picture of the rarest ship set that you can get while playing in the arena mode, the good boy. You can actually catch fish inside of the Pirate Legend hideout. This poor bastard on crooked masts fell from quite a height. 
the soul that is trapped inside the chest of everlasting sorrow is the soul of the Siren King. The smallest practical bridge I could find in Sea of Thieves is located at Thieves Haven. It is maybe two meters across. In order to enter the pirate legend hideout at Galleon's Grave Outpost, you are required to swim through a tunnel. The formerly scary Kraken turned out to be nothing more than a shockingly ugly chicken. And with that, that has been 10 minutes of completely useless Sea of Thieves information that I hope you found slightly interesting. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, do check out my other videos if you are so inclined. Links to my Discord and Twitch are in the description if you do want to check those out. But with that, it's been your boy Bandit Banks, and I will see you out there on the seas.